I really want to scale this business. Like, what should I be doing? And then they asked him, he would ask him about the product and they were like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know about the product. I just really want to market it and scale it. And he was just like, a lot of people come to me with a product and their product is shit, but they want to scale the product. Like, baby, you're focused on the wrong things. You're focusing on scaling and growing when your fundamentals are not even good. Like, essentially what you're trying to do is market a shitty product to more people so more people know about your shitty product. And I was like, damn. Damn, humbled all of us real quick right there. Hello, beautifuls. My name is Giselle, co-host of the Strong Sunflowers podcast and founder of The Create App. And today we're gonna talk about how you can lose a couple thousand dollars this month. Let's get right into it. You already know what to do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, but, oh my gosh, am I the only one that keeps seeing all these videos of people of like, oh my gosh, let me show you how I made $50,000 in 48 hours. Become a millionaire in 30 days. Like, make your first thousand dollar day. Like, blah, 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 X, Y, and C. They're all over the place. Like, zero to 100, zero to a million, zero to 50,000. They're all over the place. And of course, they're trying to sell you something. Whether it's a PDF or a course, baby, they're trying to get your coin. They're wanting for you to believe that this next new thing is the next new thing and that you should invest your money on it. Changing your financial life basically overnight. And to all of that, I say bullshit with a but, but, but bullshit. Like, what the fuck? I feel like I've been seeing them like way too often. At the end of the day, becoming successful takes two things, hard work and dedication, and maybe a little sprinkle sprinkle of luck, but that's it. I feel like a lot of people are always trying to play the lottery when it comes to their financial freedom. So they're always betting on these things that they believe or that people make them believe that can change their life. Like when we play the lottery, literally we have one in 300 million chances of winning. One in 300 million. And still we have so many people still signing up for the lottery. And I think it has to do something with accountability and releasing that accountability and also releasing their power. Because if we really take our motherfucking power back and know that, hey, I can get myself in the situation I am in, hey, it's my fault that I am where I'm at. Hey, I can be the change that I want to see in the world. Hey, maybe I need to stop fucking around and put in this work. <clears throat> Have we ever thought that the reason you're not where you want to be is you? You need to take your motherfucking power back. If you have to bet on someone, bet on yourself. Take those three to five dollars, take that hundred dollars that you would invest in that new course, knowing crypto, like literally everything's coming out of the box. Like take that money that you would spend on that and invest it on yourself. Bet on yourself. Not some magical, maybe I'll win the lottery bullshit. You know, what are you trying to create? Make a plan, go for it and stick to it. Right now I'm creating my own plan. As you guys know, if you follow the channel, you know that I'm creating an app, the create app. And I just spent $10,000 on this. $10,000 of my hard earned money. And I will be sharing the whole experience and process with you guys because I really think that this is a really good idea. But again, you have to put in the hard work, put in the hours and be determined that it's gonna work, that it's gonna happen. So I'm betting on myself. I'm buying tickets to my lottery show. Like I know that if I bet on myself, like no one can stop me. Whether it's this YouTube channel, whether, whether it's my podcast, whether it's this app, like baby, I have proven to myself time and time again that when I do that, like I am capable of doing fucking amazing things. And so are you. But I can't wait to show you guys what I'm doing with the app and what the app is about and all those things. So stay tuned, make sure you subscribe. But like moving forward into this new entrepreneur space and now I'm just like, okay, I know nothing about business. I know nothing about tech, but I'm just here showing up taking up space, right? I'm determined to do this. When I listen to people such as like Cody Sanchez, she always says like any business can be a multi-million dollar business. But most of the time, the businesses that are the multi-million dollar businesses are the boring businesses that have done boring shit for a really long time. They've stuck to it and then they made all this money. <laughs> so many of us have such amazing ideas of what to start and where to go. And sometimes we even have a successful business, but we want to scale the business or we just started the business to begin with. Again, when we were talking about earlier about 
there's always this new and excitement way to go zero to a hundred, go zero to a million real quick, right? But, and everybody wants that pill. Everybody wants to take the easy way out, the fastest way to the money, right? One of the things that I listened from Alex Hermosi was people were coming up to him and saying, hey Alex, I have this business and I really wanna market it. I really wanna scale this business, like what should I be doing? And then they asked him, he would ask them about the product and they were like, oh, well, I don't know. I don't know about the product. I just really wanna market it and scale it. And he was just like, a lot of people come to me with a product and their product is shit, but they wanna scale the product. Like baby, you're focused on the wrong things. You're focusing on scaling and growing when your fundamentals are not even good. Like essentially what you're trying to do is market a shitty product to more people so more people know about your shitty product. And I was like, damn, damn, humbled all of us real quick right there. So make sure that you're pouring into your business before you go to this new and exciting new thing going on. And this leads me to my last thing. So listen up. You cannot be distracted by every million dollar idea that's gonna pass your way. There's a million, a billion ways to make money. You can start a YouTube channel, you can start a podcast, you can start a, a business, you can start a yoga studio, you can sell fucking socks on the internet and make a million dollar. But you know what you can't do? Is do all those motherfucking things at the same damn time. You have to focus on what you have going on and not give a fuck about anybody else what anybody else is doing. I know that it's hard because when we're in a stem of planting our seed, and this is why it's easy for some people to start a business, work on the business, you're excited about it, and then you reach this plateau of like work and dedication that it's not fun, it's boring, you know? And you see this shiny new bloom moment, this sunflower, right, that someone else is having, and you're like, oh, maybe I, maybe I should get into real estate. Maybe I should start a yogurt company because this guy's having real success. Baby, usually the people that are having zero to a hundred, zero to a million, they have been doing this for a long time. They've been in the game for a long time. They have done the hard work and dedication. And now they're trying to sell you to come in. Can you make a million dollars during it? Yes, yes you can. But like I said, you can make a million dollars doing anything. So you just have to make sure you fucking focus. And when I say these things, I'm talking to myself too, because as I start this app and I really need to be like on it of where and who I'm giving my time to, if I really want this to be successful. What's gonna grow is what you give your attention to. So one of the things that I love about Alex Hermosi, he always mentions the woman in the red dress. And the woman in the red dress is basically the distraction, right? He got this from the matrix of when you're in this black and white space. And when I think of that black and white space, I think when you are in the hustle, editing your own videos, putting in the work, doing my own marketing, doing my own concepts, social media content, all of these things I'm doing on my own. Hair, makeup, outfit, on my own, okay? And sometimes when you're in the midst and you're not seeing the views, you're not seeing the likes, you see the woman in the red dress, right? <laughs> I see like, oh my gosh, like, look at that guy starting a new marketing business. Look at that guy selling uh, courses. Look at that guy doing X, Y, and Z. I think I might start doing that. When we do that, we literally take the focus from what we have and give it somewhere else. But we could have been at the point where we could have blown up. If I continue, to create YouTube videos. And I feel like my content's good. If I continue creating YouTube videos from the heart, authentic, showing up for people, showing up for myself, because I do these videos more for myself than anybody. And if it helps somebody, great, thank you so much. But I do these because I really have a passion for it. If I continue to do these videos, I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers right now. Next year, if I continue to be, you know, steady, incremental growth, maybe 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 10,000 subscribers. And we fucking made it. Because why? I stuck to it. I continued to do the same thing over and over and over. And I did not let the woman in the red dress come distract me from just sell, stop making videos, go do something else when I'm not seeing the growth that I want. If I learned anything from even starting this business and I haven't even like really started, this is like the behind the scenes like of getting the business to start. Like I'm planting my seed. I just learned like you have to focus from all the business people that I've been looking up to and listening to and reading from, you have to focus. And right now I'm focused on three things, the app, 
the Create App, GS for Growth, this YouTube channel, and the Strong Sunflowers podcast. Anything else, I don't have time for it because that would just drive me too thin. And I'm at three, I'm already like, ah. <laughs> and I think when we focus, everything else will fall into place. For the longest time, me and my co-host, Zana, for the Strong Sunflowers, we had such, we have such big ideas for the podcast and what we should do and where we should take it and how can we help people. And we just had so many things that we didn't get anything done. It was just too much, too many ideas. And we would hop and hop and again, we're, we're scrappy. So each idea that we would try would be good. But if we stuck to it, we would see more out of it. We would see more, more flow, more outcome from it. But every time we had a good idea, we would just act and pivot and pivot and pivot, you know, until we're like, dude, this is not working out. We're not seeing the growth that we want. So what's going to be our focus? One motherfucking focus. And we decided for it to be community. We want to create a community. And then whether the retreats start happening, whether the events start happening, whether all the other big ideas that we had start happening after that, our main focus is community. And bam, when we focus on community, our field has been growing exponentially. And now we do have events. We're having an event in July. I'm super excited. I'll be in Austin, Texas if you live over there. But, you know, by staying focused, we are able to see that growth faster. What should we be spending money on? It's skills. Alex Hermones talks about this all the time. He says, it's paying down our ignorance debt. The way that we get from 50,000 to 100,000, it's paying down our ignorance debt. What skills do we need to gain to make those 50,000? That's what we need. Do we need to know marketing? Do we need to know sales? Do we need to know how to communicate? Do we need to learn personal development skills? Do we need to motivate each other? Do we need, like what skills do you need to make your business and yourself in the business the best that you can be to pay off that ignorance debt? Right now, as I'm in the process of building the Create app, I know that this could be a huge business. And for me to create my own company at this moment, I need a lot of skills that I don't have. So like marketing skills, business skills, sales skills. I need tech skills. I need how to manage a team skills. I need creativity skills. I need word, like so how to fire someone, how to hire someone for my company, how to make money, how to bring, how to bring my business from zero to a million, all of these things, skills I need to learn now, but there's a lot of skills that come into that. A lot of the times we can find what we're looking for on the internet. I've been watching Alex Hermosi and Cody Sanchez and Layla Hermosi. Baby, free game right there. So much free game. I'm making a whole series on it. I've been learning so much about business, about finances, on how to start a business, how to monetize a business, how to make money. And again, like I said, this is free. F-R-E-E -E, on YouTube. I feel like you got to start free. And then after that, if I really want to go in depth, and learn more about marketing, learn more about sales, you know? Maybe I get a sales job, you know, and get to practice myself, you know? Or I pay someone for a course or a PDF specifically guided in the skills that I need that are gonna pay for my ignorance debt. Because these are some of the things that I've been asking myself, you know, like, what is my business? What do I need to run my business? How can I fund my business? What skills do I need to obtain to have a successful business? Will this make money? How will it make money? Does that plan work? Have I seen it work in other companies? And if other companies are doing it, then I'm fucking sticking to it. I'm sticking to my plan and I'm sticking to the business. And just be flexible for, for the most part, stay focused. I hope this video helps. You don't need the fancy courses. You just need to bet on yourself. And together you and I, baby, we gonna do big things, big things. I love you guys and I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs> Ciao.